Mr. Worldwide, Mark Pitternet. Uh, I didn't expect to be so pleased with him in season 2020. You know, 12 months ago to the day of filming this, we, uh, we obviously recruited him. We gave up, a, I think it was a late third round pick for him. And uh, I must say, I thought he would be a good big body to just to help, uh, you know, the development of TDK. But uh, this guy, this guy's a competitor. I really enjoyed watching him play and, and he brought something to the club that we really needed. And it was just that grunt. You know, he throws his weight around. I remember going to watch him play or watch, you know, all of them play in the practice match against Collingwood in the preseason. And I remember him just throwing around Grundy and really getting into him. And I remember saying at the time, okay, this is great. If he can bring that to the AFL and, you know, not be afraid to throw his weight around, we've got one here. And uh, I was very, very happy with him. Um, I think, you know, at times he may have been outclassed by better Ruckman, but when he came up against anyone that wasn't, you know, Grundy, Nick Nat, Gorn, any of those guys, I thought he did very, very well. And he's one, I mean, he's 24 years old, 25 years old. Uh, he's just starting to enter that point in his career where he can really, really make some impact. Um, love, I, love I just, I just, he's just an honest player. And I think we've needed that. We, we've, we've drafted a lot of talented kids. And I think over the last few years, I can sense that there's been a, uh, a notion to bring in some more, just some more grunt, some more character, some guys who maybe weren't as highly touted as youngsters, but have really been made to earn their way. You look at guys like Michael Gibbons, uh, you look at guys like, like Ed Kono, for example, guys with that ilk, guys that aren't your first picked players, but uh, guys that work hard nevertheless and end up becoming really good because they work hard over a long period of time. So I loved what he did. Um, I'm not really sure what the dynamic's gonna be with him moving forward. Obviously, we've got Tom DeConing, He's the future of the club. We really have earmarked him as the, you know, the, the number one ruckman for years to come. But the, the beauty of Pitternet on the list is he really, first of all, he, he's, he's there as an option. Uh, we know that if we have to play him or if he gets selected, he's not going to be letting us down. Um, and he puts the pressure on, on guys like Tom DeConing. And if we get another ruckman into the, into the club, he puts pressure on them. Um, I, I, for one, I'm not a fan of playing the two ruckmen um, and having one of them as a forward. I don't believe in it. I mean, that's just my opinion. Uh, you're, for me, you either play TDK or you play Pit in it, and then you then you have your three tall forwards, and one of those forwards is probably Levi, who can pinch hit in the ruck. So I think there's some tinkering to do with the with the position. However, the main point uh, of the Pit in it experience is that we've got one. Yeah, he, he'll be staying on the list for a while now. Um, he brings something that this this list has needed, and this group has definitely needed. And uh, I think if he can maybe just add some more marking ability forward of center, that might be a situation where we can actually play him forward and play maybe him and Tom at the same time. Uh, I loved his ability to you know, fall back into a hole. He plays the ruck position traditionally, the way it should be played. He's always that next kick away, uh, positions himself really well. And uh, yeah, I'm happy, I'm stoked with him. So it, it, was, it was a pleasant surprise. Uh, I didn't really get to watch him much before he came to the club. But, uh, you know, within 12 months, I'm on board. I'm all about him. Really excited to see what he can do. You know, obviously, he's been given that opportunity. Um, you know, he's played, uh, he's played 13 games in 2020, which is the most of his career. And uh, for me, there's no reason why he can't get better and better over the next two to three years and, and really stamp himself. I mean, who knows? He could be our number one ruckman. You never really know. Things can happen. Injuries can happen. Situations change really quickly. Uh, and he's a, he's, a, he's a great guy to have on the list in, in the event that something does happen. So that's my take on Pitternet. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, I'm actually really keen to see what do you think about the Ruck setup moving forward? Is it a situation, as I said before, where you pick Pitto or you pick Tom and then play Levi as the, the backup Ruckman slash forward? Or do you play both of these guys and have one of them as the forward and maybe Levi doesn't play? Let me know what you think and uh, we'll chat about it in the comments. Yeah.